Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So Shudder just put up the film Boar. Yes, B-O-A-R is in a wild boar, a wild pig. And uh, the film is set in Australia. And I thought, you know what? There really aren't that many creature features out um, that are like straight up creature features, like actual critters, like alligators, sharks, stuff like that. Um, especially not wild pigs, basically. I know there's at least one other one out there. I think it's called Razorback which I've heard good things about um, that I do need to check out at some point. But at any rate, this one was at my fingertips because I am a big fan of Shudder. I have Shudder. So I was like, I'm going to give this a go. So here is my review of Boar. So first of all, in the plus category for this film, it is a creature feature. Like I was just saying, there aren't that many creature features. So if you're looking for such a film, this is one of very few. So go ahead and check it out for that reason. Sometimes, in my opinion, movies like that, like, it's just good enough just being a certain genre or, well, in this case, subgenre, because there's not a whole lot of it available. And if it's competently done, even if it's nothing special, it's worth watching if you're into that subgenre. Um, so I have my notes on my phone, so that's why I'm going to keep looking down. Um, okay, so that was my first bit. Uh, there's a lot of comedy put into this. It's kind of meant to be this kind of mixture of horror and comedy. And um, I got to be honest, I don't feel like the comedy really landed a whole lot of the time. There were a few things that were kind of funny, but I, I didn't find myself at any point actually laughing or even laughing internally. Because actually it does take a lot for me to like really laugh out loud if I'm watching by myself, which I was with this film. So um, not even like thinking internally like, oh, that's pretty funny. It's just... Like, the comedy really didn't land for me, and um, I, f I found that to be kind of disappointing because that's kind of the main focus when you're not seeing the boar is they're doing a lot of comedic stuff. And so when that stuff's not actually landing properly, you're kind of like, what are we doing with this? It seems like wasted time. It's like, let's just get back to the boar. So on the topic, um, okay, well, I'm going to stick with this because I kind of categorize things. I'm going to stick with this. Um, so with the comedic stuff, not that great. The dialogue at many times seemed improvised. Like it was very awkwardly, uh, delivered, not in the sense of like this person was, um, reciting it, but in the sense of like, it seems like they were just trying to come up with stuff on the spot and it would just end up being kind of awkward. So a lot of the dialogue just kind of seemed a little improvised and it just made a lot of scenes like just awkward. And I was just like, mm, that's kind of weird. Um, acting overall was, eh, you know, you had some people who did a pretty good job. You had some people who didn't do a really good job. Um, so I don't know, but the, but one of the biggest things for me is that I didn't really find any interesting characters in the film, to be honest. Uh, even when there was someone who seemed like they would be an interesting character, they didn't really end up being an interesting character. Everyone's very face value. There's nothing all that unique about any character except the actual boar being a, you know, giant boar. That's not a spoiler. Um, I'm not doing any spoilers for this, obviously. That's not a spoiler. We all know there's a giant boar in it, especially if you've seen the trailer. But, um, yeah, just a lot of the characters are just like, oh, there's that's a person. That That is also a person. Like, there's no personality to any of these characters, which makes it so you're just like, I don't even care about any of these people. Every single person could die in this film, and I'd be like, all right. You know, it, it just turns into one of those films where you're just like, I hope this boar runs around and kills everybody because they're the most interesting character in this. So that kind of sucks. And on the, the point of characters... Bill Mosley is in this, and I saw that, like, he's, he shows up pretty much immediately, so I was just like, oh, sweet, Bill Mosley. I do like Bill Mosley. He can really bring it in some films. Obviously, you know, one of his best performances, in my opinion, being in uh, Devil's Rejects. He did an outstanding job with that. Um, so the guy has chops. He's good. Not good in this film. And and I it kind of seemed to me like he wasn't digging his character which I don't really blame him because I wasn't digging his character either. I Like I said, I wasn't digging like any of the characters, to be honest. But he just seemed really disinterested in the role. And his acting was just not, it just wasn't there. And I, I, I was really let down by that. Because when I saw him, I was like, oh, sweet, Bill Mosley. Like, I'll probably like his character. He'll, he'll really step it up. No, not in this film. It's, mm, I was like, wow. Um, so based on all, everything I've been saying, you can lead 
to the conclusion. I'm sure you've already thought about this. The best parts of the film are with the boar. The best parts are when the boar is on a rampage. The boar is killing people. That is when the film shines. That's when it gets to its true creature feature roots. And for that reason, it just seems like it was a film that the concept was initially, okay, it's a giant boar and it kills. Let's write a script for it. And they couldn't come up with any good story around that. They were just like, they just wrote all like the, the boar rampaging killing scenes and then they were like, what do we put around all of this? So, and then they just put stuff around it that's just not that good. So, I mean, there, there's not really a story to this, to be honest. There really is no plot. There really is no story. The whole thing is there's a giant killer boar. That's the movie. That's the entire movie. And there's, no, like, there's nothing. And I was kind of let down by that. I mean, I understand, like, sometimes you just want, like, a straightforward film. Like, kind of like... Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim, when it came out, it's just a it's a bunch of giant mechs fighting kaiju. And people were just like, some people were like, I hate it. There's nothing interesting about it. There's no real story. There's no real plot. But then other people were just like, yeah, it's just giant mechs kicking some kaiju butt. Like, that's exactly what I wanted. Just straightforward, let's do this. So for that reason, if you just like straightforward, like creature mayhem, then you may very well like this film because that's kind of what it is. It's just like creature mayhem. But I will tell you, most likely you're not really going to like all the stuff that doesn't have the boar in it because it's not that good, like I was saying. Um, so the boar itself, the design, in certain sec uh, sections it's CGI and in certain it's practical. Now when it's practical, it looks good. I really like it. When it's CGI, it actually doesn't look too bad, but there were a few scenes with CGI where they focused a little too long on it. So usually with, with films that have like lower budgets, which is pretty much every horror film has having lower budgets. Um, I'm sure this one didn't have a very big budget. It um, Usually when they do CGI like that for creatures and blood and stuff like that, they make it kind of like quick scenes, quick shots, so that like you see it, but you can't take too much time to focus on it because otherwise you'll see that it looks fake. It doesn't look that good. So with this one, for the most part, they did that when it was the CGI portions, but there were a few spots where it was like CGI and it was taking a long time and you're like, eh. uh, it's starting to look like a computer animated thing, but um, the practical portions of the board were really good. It looked really awesome. The design was really great. It was very gnarly. It was very gory. It was like slobbery and gross and like that portion I loved and the kills like there were some actual like good kills in this because going into it I was just like how many ways can you have a boar kill people like you can just chomp people you can just eat them um but they um you know they varied stuff up a little bit which I did really like you know the kills were actually pretty satisfying and decent like I said the best parts are when the boar is in it and then specifically when the boar's killing people like that's obviously the best part of this film um uh, I said that it had some good solid kills. Overall, it's just a straightforward creature feature. Like I was saying, like there's no story, there's no plot, there's no good characters. It is a boar killing people. And for that reason, what I would have really liked with this film is just more of the boar. More of the boar killing people. Don't even try to give a story because it wasn't good with the story they tried to give. Because they, they did try to like get you interested in some characters so you would care about them when they're in peril. But it just didn't work at all. It was just boring and I was just like, I don't care about these people. Like I was saying, like I only care about the boar at this point. Um, so I will say, once again, I'm not, I'm not doing spoilers. But I will say at the very end of the film, there's something particular I did like about what they did in the ending. Um, it's kind of like how... Uh, how every how the conflict resolved, I did like. I did like aspects of how the conf conflict was resolved in the film, but there was something that happens at the very, very end that I was just like, <sighs> an, an, literal eye roll for me. Literal eye roll when it happened. And I was like, really? I don't think so. Come on. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, overall, you know, Obviously, these are all my just my opinions. I, I wasn't too satisfied with it. I didn't hate it. it. It wasn't a film where it's like, oh, my God, I want my time back. It was decent enough, in my opinion, but I would definitely not watch it again. Um, but like I said, you know, some of you people out there, if you just want a straightforward creature feature, this may be your film. If you just want to see a boar killing some people and you're fine with 
not having too much like story or plot involved, this may be for you that you may love it. And, and that's fine. That's totally fine. But for me, it just wasn't my thing. So, um, if I'm giving it a star rating, like I usually do with these out of five, uh, with halves in play, I'm going to give it two stars. This is a two star film. It's not bad. It's not a bad film by, by any, you know, stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a creature feature film, you know? And like I did say, there aren't that many like creature feature films like this. So it gets a little bit, you know, it gets a tad bit extra in my rating just because it is that subgenre because not a lot of people are doing it. But anyway, I wish this was a lot better. Um, but you know what? That's what it is. But let me know. Have you watched Bored? You plan to watch Bored? Put the comments down there. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you excited or not excited? Will this be your type of film or not? I don't know. Uh, also, are there any other like creature features that you think I should definitely see? Because I'm down. I'm down to take those recommendations. Uh, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, really, really helps me out. It takes you literally like a second. It is painless for you, but that can mean a lot for me. So if you could hit that, you can hit the notification bell. It will let you know every time I put up a video, which is awesome. You can do thumbs up. So if you just want to be like, hey, man, good job. You can do that as well. But I'd rather just have the subscribe and the comments. I really like to interact with people on this. So let's go nuts. Let's talk about it. Uh, but thank you so much for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.